Hey, Freya. What? Can't I pay an old friend a visit? Nothing wrong with that, right? I mean, just because I'm responsible for the death of your son doesn't mean... Okay, yeah. She probably would mentioning that. Is that Freya? Why am I wearing this around my neck? The arrow tip that killed your son? That's a great question. Uh... I'm so dead. Here goes nothing. Freya! You should have stayed with Sindri. Wait! Stop! Your father. Where is he? Not here! He sent you? No! He doesn't know! You shouldn't have come. He took my son. What makes you think I won't do the same? You're better than this! You would stake your life on it. What do you know of me? I know you haven't killed me yet. So while you're thinking it over, why don't you let me go and I can tell you why I came? If you mean to plead for your father, save your breath. His fate is sealed. But you know who's to blame for everything. I cannot get to Odin. Nor do I need to. Ragnarok will take him. Yeah? Well, what if I told you that he came to Midgard? He came to us. Offered peace if we don't move against him. Claims Ragnarok's already been averted. He lies. Maybe. But if you know Groa's prophecy, you know it depends on an army of giants. The Giants wait for war in Jotunheim. No. I've been there. There is no giant army. There are no giants at all. Just me. You. In Jotunheim, we learn the truth. My mother was the last guardian of our people in Midgard. And, and that's not all. The Giants have prophecies about me. They know me as... Loki. I think maybe I'm supposed to help stop Odin, somehow. But since all the Giants are dead and you won't fight Odin, then you've already won. Why aren't we working together? Now that you can fight again! I am far from whole! Okay. Okay. But we found here. Maybe if you spoke to him... Tear is alive? Yeah. We... we broke him out of Svartalfheim. Impossible! The Nine Realms are closed to all! No. We opened up the way. We just don't know where to go next. But if we all band together... Enough. Enough! Leave this place. Go and do not return. Go before I change my mind. Do not expect the same mercy for your father.
Okay, so I'm not dead. I didn't get any answers. So this all might have just been a very big waste of time. Which I will never, ever admit this injury. It's a good thing I like climbing. Thank Amir. You're all right. How did it go? I'm starting to think. Sindri, I told you I could handle it. But I don't think she's gonna help us. Uh, where's your necklace? Huh? Oh! I was thinking and I, uh, got rid of it. She took it, didn't she? Uh. Today was your lucky day. So tell me, how did it feel to run on? Chaos. I... I just fixed that! The offer! I've still got my bag of tricks. If you need me, I'll be standing back here. Give me a second! I'll repair it later. Let's get out of here before something else tries to kill us. Yeah, good idea. Hate to bring it up, but are we telling your dad about this? Since you've come clean and all. No way. He'd kill you. Right. Well, speaking of coming clean, I need your opinion on something. Something I've kept from my brother for a long time. I'll tell you on the way back. Come on. <gasps> Did they ever quit? Alfheim Tower. You were saying? Long before you were born, there was an accident at the forge. Brock died. I couldn't accept it. I went to the Lake of Souls in Alfheim to steal him back. Legions of souls tried to stop me. I can still feel them crawling all over my skin. Thing is, I could only get three of his four soul parts back. Sindri. Brock just thought he got knocked out. I've been lying to him ever since. It's been eating at me lately. You have to tell him. He has the right to know. Anyway, you did a good thing. You saved Brock's life. I caused trouble. No, I made a choice. One that wasn't mine to make. What do you mean, a choice? I... I couldn't be alone. 
The other dwarves, when they saw him, they shunned us. So we left. Made our own home. Well, you can't change the past, but it doesn't have to be who you are. Let's go home before Father wakes up. That might be the best idea you've had all night. Trey. Trey? It's an... Shut up. So I'm not allowed to give you a nickname? Is that what that was? <laughs> Whatever, Loke. Nope. That was worse. Oh, and I heard it when I said it. All right. Shall we? I hate coming home empty-handed. After Tyr was such a failure, I just wanted now to... Now hang on, little Jotun. Tyr may not be everything you expected, but a failure? You saved him from a terrible fate. That's not nothing. And hey, maybe he'll be some help to us yet. Maybe. But Father's not gonna go along with this forever. He's probably already got our next hiding place all picked out. Well, let's not make it worse by getting caught. When we get there... I'll cover our tracks at the gateway and slip around back. And you just act natural, but quickly. Go, go, go. That is not the list that concerns me. Do we trust the path they would put us on? I trust their wisdom, and this is the closest thing to hearing directly from them. You are certain the Giants would not counsel war? I said that they were wise. In my experience, that goes with being peaceful. Oh, little brother! Told you we needn't worry. Atreus, where have you been? Peeing? Hope you're all hungry! I could eat. Is everyone as well rested as I am? Be right down. Is this sausage? Uh, sure. Why not? I remember food tasting better. I suppose you'd like to try cooking for this lot. I accept. What? Uh. Atreus, we are planning our next move. Oh, so where are we going? Alfheim. I'm with the elves. Alfheim? You hate Alfheim. Why would we move there? Move there? Seeking information. The shrine of Groa, young one. Your father tells me you found it there. Groa? The knowledge keeper? Oh, maybe there's a secret there I can unlock. Aye. Who better than the seer who saw everything? Hmm. I wasn't sure you, um. Never mind. That's great. I'll find. Hmm. Hey! Don't go forgetting this, what'll get you there. You know what? I'm gonna build a bigger table. <laughs> More for me. Tyr, you're really up for coming with us? I am. Whenever you're ready. Well... Whenever your father's ready, I should say. If my counsel might help you towards the answers you seek, it's the least I can do to repay you. Plus, I think it will do me well to see the light of Elfheim again. Hmm. That elf light is some good shit.
So, where'd this plan come from? Oh, from Mimir, of course. I was merely asking how you found me, and he explained the secret prophecies inside the Yodnar shrines. Fascinating. From there, we set to taking stock of which shrines we'd seen, at which point your father recalled finding growers outside the Temple of Light. And now that we can actually go to Alfheim, the prudent course of action became self-evident. Nary a last step for the world's smartest man. Even without feet, if you'll forgive the levity. I was always fond of our talks, you know? Aye. And it's good to see you a free man again, old friend. And thanks to you as well, Brock. These clothes do better than I deserve. Darn straight! And never mind what Brock had to trade the landlord to get that Indrasil seat for you. The landlord? He's not the landlord! <laughs> uh, okay. really did it. Tyr really slept in my broom closet. Is that normal for you tall, godly sorts? Or just the ones locked up for a lifetime or two? Whatever you need. Wear it with pride. Huh. That might be my best piece yet today. Very good. Gonna keep it spatter-free this time, right? Kratos? Right behind you. I'll meet you at the gateway presently, friends. Excuse me, sir. Mind if I take a little peek at you? I promise I'll be brief. My goodness, what a strapping physique. Capable of an astounding variety of acts of violence, I imagine. What is happening? Uh, this must be the squirrel that tends the world tree. That delectable aroma. Could it be? Pardon the intrusion. Mm. Ah, yes. Amber resin. Delightfully nutty with a hint of squid ink. No. Not one for gastronomic expiration, I see. Wait, if you're Radit Hosker, why are you so different when we summon you for help? It's a long story. <laughs> but you are correct. I am indeed Radit Hosker. The one you know as Radit Hosker is merely one of my spectral aspects. And a particularly nasty one at that. I consider him so far removed from myself that he's practically a different person. Speaking of, bitter? Would you like to come out and see your friends? Fuck off! I'm busy! I suppose that was to be expected. Anyway... Ooh. Now that I've polished off all this resin for you, 
Would you like the seed back? It is the seed. Indeed. A seed of Yggdrasil, to be precise. <clears throat> Since my dwarven tenants performed their little reconfiguration, you'll need seeds like these to open up new destinations on my tree. <laughs> Your tree, huh? Yes, my tree. Here, let me show you. So that's why good Master Brock needed an Alpine seed. Clearly, you have important matters afoot. That seed you found unlocks Niflheim, of all places, a realm as ancient as it is vaguely sticky. Svartalfheim remains at your disposal if you have unresolved business amongst the dwarves. If we're not going to Alfheim yet, it's probably best for Tyr to wait for us here. Amir, how many stories have you told about Odin and Thor, and all the bad things they've done? Let's see how many we can remember. Seems like Father could use his memory refreshed. My memory of them requires no refreshment. They invaded our home. Yeah, but I'm talking about history. All the other people they've hurt. Let's see. Not now. to be here? Creeping me out, all these poor bastards with their souls cut up. Wait, are those... Odin's ravens? The ones we've been destroying all this time? So it would seem. Free are we, free of the Father, our half-wise man, belong to no other. What do you think that means? I don't know, but there's definitely something more going on here. Got some slag from the homeland, huh? Hand it over, I'll fix you up something. Huh? Soldiers we fought in Svartalfheim. Those were Enriar? 
thought Anhariar were just spirits in Valhalla until Ragnar comes. They were no spirits. Indeed, brother. Odin appears to have found a loophole. Activated his forces early as a standing army. Perhaps something he could only do without any honest Valkyries around to stand in his way. Ah, there you are. I knew you hadn't forgotten Master me. Master Kratos, I would speak with you. Speak. If you are ever in need of my services and I am not present, I have installed these handy chimes for you to notify me. Simply throw your axe and strike the chimes, and I will attend to your needs. Would you care to take a practice throw? Here, do we know Ratatosker? Of course. We were just catching up in your absence. A magnificent a throw, throw, Master Kratos. Truly a seasoned like pro. Very well. You know how to reach me now. Anyhow, was there something else you wish to talk about? I have a question. Splendid! I delight in offering my tutelage to the Inquisitive. Over the ledge, by the gateway over there. I noticed these dragons. Dragons? Oh no, young Master Atreus. Those are leaned worms, the brood of Neithhog. Neithhog? That's the mother? Correct. She's also a vital piece of the Yggdrasilian circle of life, as it were. I tend the branches up here, while Neithhog chews the roots from below to prevent overgrowth. A delicate balance. So they're friendly? Well, they're not nearly so affable as myself, but there's no reason to expect hostility so long as they're left in peace. Neithog is a stern matriarch, as protective of her offspring as she is determined to teach them proper discipline. That sounds... Familiar. Hmm. Well, I'll leave you to it. Perhaps as we travel, you can tell me the tale of your prior visit to the land of the elves. Sure, I can. Alfheim was the first time we ever realm traveled using your temple. Freya tried coming with us, but Odin cast a spell on her. She can't leave Midgard. That's terrible. So then we fought our way through an army of dark elves to get to the light. You interfered in the elf war. Not by choice. We sought to fill our Bifrost, and they attacked us. And the Dark Elves were covering it with their sticky hive stuff. When we freed it, the Light Elves came back. We seemed better in Alpha. <laughs> Did they now? Alfheim. It's been so long. Not sure where the temple is from here. That's where we'll find Groa's shrine.